The second ending that I want to show you is actually one that I originally intended to get, um, at least as an option, near the end. Essentially what it comes down to is the phone call you get um, at the start of Act 5. I expected a certain someone to call me, but instead Clovis called me. And I'm not entirely sure why um, it didn't work the way I intended. But one possibility is that it is because I scared off Crazy Legs by accidentally drawing my gun in this uh, shop. Because the uh, car shop actually plays into uh, the en uh, this other ending that I'm going to show you. So the first thing I'm doing differently from my main Let's Play here is not drawing my gun in the car shop. So Crazy Legs will still be around if you come back there. Um, the second thing I want to show you for this ending does not necessarily have anything directly to do with uh, the ending itself, but it's something you can do in the uh, strip club that I forgot to show you, because I forgot you could do it. While Dectora is on stage dancing in her um, dragonfly getup, you'll notice that the bouncer is now standing here, preventing you from going backstage. Uh, or upstairs, anyway. Which means that if you return to the main area of the club, he won't be there. And that... allows you to go into Early's office. Which, uh, hey... Did you spot something moving? I spotted something moving, and I know what it was, too. For those of you not paying attention, it was actually here on the couch. Go back uh, a bit in the video and you'll see it. Now, the uh, thing you can find here is at the desk. I lucked out. The receipt for the Dragonfly collection was right on top of the pile. There were three pieces, a belt, earrings, and an anklet. Early had bought them last month at an auction for more money than I'd see if I retired a dozen reps. What this uh, does is prove that the anklet Lucy was wearing is part of the same collection as uh, Dactora's Dragonfly earring, therefore proving the connection between uh, Dactora and Lucy, which of course we already knew. The one thing you don't want to do while you're here is sit down on the couch because of the aforementioned movement. Scorpions. Ah! Yes, that's where the scorpion went from the insect lady at Anamoid Row. And now we're dead. Oh well, this didn't really matter for this ending anyway. This alternate ending has everything to do with Dectora, and I actually expected to get it um, before, because I left her alive, but since it, I didn't get it, there was something uh, I did wrong, obviously. Now, it may have been um, Crazy Lags not being around in the shop anymore, because I accidentally drew my gun, but the other thing I might want to do different, although I don't actually think it makes a difference is here is um, in the let's play I gave Dectora the void comp test which she didn't like but you can also try and warn her about crystal which uh, is being a bit nicer to her therefore improving the chances that I will get the ending this time look I want to warn you there's a woman looking for you and your friends why would anyone be looking for me you know what I'm talking about it's real important that you get out of here I get it you're some kind of sexual deviant. I'm finished with you. Get me the police. You're doing the right thing. Yes, this is an emergency. Early cues backstage. A customer is harassing me. Thank you. Put that away. I'm a cop. Now we wait. And this, of course, leads into the I'll normal shoot. beginning of... Okay. Act 4. Please don't talk. The sound of your voice grates on me. The other important things for this ending are, of course, that you do not kill uh, Dactora. You have to um, talk to her 
um, in, on the balcony in the strip club when you're hunting her with uh, Crystal. Which um, makes sense, of course, since this ending is supposed to be about Dectora, so it's kind of hard to do if she's dead. I don't think it makes any difference whether or not you kill um, Guza. In this case, I did kill him. So hopefully the changes I made are enough. And on the phone now should be Dectora rather than um, Clovis. Pick up. I've been trying to reach you for an hour. Are you all right? Yeah. Look, I think I got Clovis and Sadiq to let you alone. I told them you weren't hunting them anymore. Bravo. What's the matter? My dog's dead. Shot. I'm so sorry. You were close to it, weren't you? Not it. Her. Maggie. Clovis didn't do it, I'm sure of that. No kidding. I also told him about us, Ray. He took it very well. He and I are finished for good this time. I have a hard time believing that. He's been very philosophical. He's aware that his time is running out. That's why he wants to help us. No hard feelings, huh? None at all. Okay. But there's another way. Why don't you and I just go away from here? Leave this place and everybody else behind. Okay, now you get two choices. Um, you can either go with her idea, or say that you still want to go to Clovis. If you pick the latter and go to uh, the moon bus, you'll get the same ending that we originally got, except that Dectora will have one line extra in uh, that ending. So, um, I want to show you that. So let's pick that first. Maybe I can help Clovis find some peace before he dies, then we'll see. Where is he? He's been struggling out in the Kipple, trying to get the moon bus fixed. If you could help repair it, maybe we could all leave together. How far out are they? A few miles north of the city. There's bound to be tons of radioactive waste between here and there. There's a tunnel in the sewers. That's how Clovis and Sadiq go back and forth. It comes out right near the moon bus. I need you, Ray. I can't watch my friends die, not alone. And if you can't come, adieu, my love. Dictora, wait! Damn it. Okay, so off to the moon bus we go. And back at the moon bus, of course, you once again have the opportunity to kill Sadiq and go with the... Uh, first alternate ending, like before, but that does not involve Dectora, so I will show you what happens when you go into the moon bus after Dectora called you. Welcome, brother. We have very little time. I spoke to Sadiq. He's installing the power source right now. Excellent. And do you have something for me? Yes, we do. DNA information? We have some of it. I hope it's enough. It will have to be. I've got questions of my own. No doubt, but answers will take time, and time is precious to all of us. It's true, then. You... we... we've only got four years. Yes. Of course, I could be hit by lightning tomorrow, but with the information Terrell gave you... Who knows, brother? It may just be enough to make a difference. He's a hunter no more. He has come home. It's time to go, my friend. Where are we going? To the heavens, brother. To fulfill our destinies off-world. And this time, the memories we create will be our own. And that line is basically the only difference between the ending I got in the main Let's Play and this alternate. Gaff 
is stoic as always. And that is our second alternate ending. But we are not done yet. The second Dectora ending is much different from the endings we've uh, been getting so far, and you can get it by saying OK to her proposal to uh, leave Clovis to his own devices when you are talking to Dectora on the phone. I got nothing to keep me here anymore, that's for sure. You got a plan? There's a used car place in the fourth sector near the arcade. I know it. Gordo and I went there before looking for a vehicle. The owner was nice to us. He'll probably help us if we pay him. We'd need a spinner to be able to get anywhere. He's got a couple for sale. It's real risky and illegal. Well, it's better than just sitting out there in the kipple waiting to die. Watching everybody else die. If you won't do it, I'll go get the car myself. I didn't say I wasn't going to do it. Then meet me there. I'll be there within the hour. At this point, you can still choose to go to the moon bus instead. But, of course, I will not do that. Your floor number, please. And I will go to uh, the used car lot and meet up with Dectora. You made it. I promised you, didn't I? You're one of the few people I've known who actually keep their promises. Where's Clovis? He's not coming with us. We're gonna miss him? I've practically forgotten him already. In some ways sure. I wish I'd gotten to know him better. You know him better than you think. There's a strange bond that exists between the two of you. I felt it from the start. That's one of the reasons I was so drawn to you. Are you ready? Like I'm beginning a whole new life. How's it going, Ray? Wait a minute, I thought you was going to arrest her. You don't get paid the big bucks to think crazy. Any of your spinners up and running? Uh, sure, got one up on the roof. A real beaut ain't a cheap ride, though, I'll tell you right now. I gotta take it for a test drive. Ray, I, I always liked you. True, I hardly know you. You seem like a stand-up guy. Eventually, when this fiasco is all over and done with, I... I know you'll get me on the come, right? You're a stand-up guy, crazy. That I am. It want me to tell your friend where you're going? Friend? You know, the doll with the cigarette. She told me you were in trouble and she wanted to help. What should I tell her? Ray? You tell her we're headed south. 10-4. I'm afraid, Ray. Crystal ain't gonna let up until we're both six feet under. Yeah, that might be a problem. Because dying wasn't really part of the plan. Ray! What? Evening, Slim. Uh-oh. Thanks for bringing her here. It makes my end a hell of a lot easier. You're the coldest person I've ever seen when it comes to killing. I'll take that as a compliment. How did it feel to kill an innocent animal? Wake up, Slim. The mutt was a replicant, just like its master. Bullshit. You're more confused than the damn dog was when I pulled the plug. She was real, Steel. No two ways about it. Nobody gives a damn. All three of you will be nothing but a memory anyhow. And I'll be a rich lady. Oh. And we gotta fight her again. <laughs> nice shot there, Slim. You couldn't leave well enough alone. See you again, real soon. <laughs> oh, I forgot. You rats don't have a soul. Why do they always have to monologue after they die? What a waste. All right, let's get out of here. Can you get it working? Ah, uh, we'll have to find something else. Maybe a ground car. Hmm. Wait a second. A ground car? Like the one that was discussed in detail? It's all over, McCoy. You got nowhere to go and no hostages. 
You got two minutes. Then we're gonna clear you out. I'll be right back. What have you got there? One of Sadiq's bombs. I stole it. If they want to fight... No. They're little people with small minds. No! We'll find another way. Wait a minute. We're right on top of the old subway system. But they'll follow us! Not if we can get a ground car down there. Hell, we can drive right through that tunnel and disappear. What if it's collapsed? It's worth a shot. Indeed, it is. And I th think we need to use this. Let me try to get the floor open. Arm that thing, all right? But wait for my signal before you drop it in. Now! That should have done the trick. Come on, they'll be coming through the door any second. Fortunately, they didn't react to that explosion or anything. But it does seem to have done the trick, because there's a big hole in the floor here, and our car is hopefully on uh, the lower level. There it is. I knew we'd make it. Are you ready? Yes, I am. I didn't know where we were going, and I didn't much care. Away from the city first, and then as far as this heap could take us. With the information I'd gotten from Tyrell, and the bits and pieces from his design subcons, maybe, just maybe, we had enough to keep us alive for a while. All I knew was that we'd live each day as if it was the last. Put them all together, they just might add up to a lifetime. And Clovis dies by himself in this ending. And it seems Gaff was there, as usual. And so Ray lives happily ever after with Dectora who for some reason fell in love with him, even though they only spoke twice during the entire game. Personally, I have to say, Dectora is not really my type, but uh, in case she is, you might want to go for this ending. How did it feel to kill an innocent animal? There's actually Absolutely. another ending you can get. Just like its master. From uh, here. You're more confused than the damn dog was when I pulled the plug. And what you need to do in no order to get it, it, nobody gives a damn, is let Dectora die. And I'll be a rich lady. You might notice that Crystal focuses on Dectora before shooting you. So you can let Crystal shoot Dectora and then take her out. Nice shot there, Slim. You couldn't leave well enough alone. I'll see you again real soon. <laughs> oh, I forgot. You reps don't have a soul. Everything I'd ever been close to was dead. There wasn't anything left for me now, and there was no going back to the unit after I'd dispatched Crystal. It was one of Sadiq's bombs. Was it a lie? Had she been planning to kill me all along? Or was it just insurance? Something extra to defend herself? I'd never know. So, um, we are left basically in the same predicament. This car does not work. Crystal is dead. And now also is the Dectora. I think you can actually also shoot her yourself, if you feel so inclined. It's all over, McCoy. You got nowhere to go and no hostages. You got two minutes. Then we're gonna clear you out. But we took the bomb, so we can just repeat the I same had an idea. as before. I didn't know if it was gonna work or not, but I'd run out of options.
and then you get to run off by yourself. I didn't know where I was going, and I didn't much care. I just wanted to get away. Not from the cops so much as the memories of Maggie and of her. I was different from them, that much I knew. I couldn't do the job anymore. All I could do was get away and try to live each moment as it comes. And eventually, all my moments and memories would run out. Kind of a bleak ending, as you would expect, of course. And Clovis is still dead. And that is it for all of the uh, Dectora related endings, but there are still more endings to see. <laughs>